I am Anil Kumar and I will try to make trigonometric identities fun for you. With the help of these examples, you will get the tricks which you should know to solve or prove trigonometric identities. So we have two very difficult questions here and now let us see how to solve them in just three steps. First one is cosecant square x tan square x minus 1 equals to tan square x. Now in this particular case, we see that we need tan square x on the right side. We can begin with the left side. So let me write left side first. And since left side is more complicated, it is always a good idea to start with a complicated side. So now we can write cosecant square x as 1 over sine square x. And tan square x can be written as sine square x over cos square x minus 1. So that is the left side. Now sine square x, sine square x cancel out. So we have 1 over cos square x minus 1. Now we can take common denominator which is cos square x. So we get cos square x in the denominator and we have 1 minus cos square x. Now what is 1 minus cos square x? That is sine square x, correct? So we have sine square x divided by cos square x, which is indeed equals to right hand side, which is tan square x, correct? So sine square x over cos square x is tan square x. So that is how we can actually prove left side to right side. So the strategy here is right all the terms, trigonometric ratios in terms of sine and cosine and then simplify. That helps. Now let's look into the second equation. Now here what we need here is the equation or I should say the trigonometric identity given to us is tan square x sine square x equals to tan square x minus sine square x. So we have to write from product form to somewhat difference form, right? That means kind of factoring is required. What we can do is we can write sine square x as 1 minus cos square x and then simplify. So we'll again begin with left side and we have here tan square x. We are maintaining tan square x in this case since we need 1 on the right side. That is the whole idea. Now sine square x could be written as 1 minus cos square x correct? So we wrote tan square x sin square x as tan square x times 1 minus cos square x. Now let us open this bracket. So if you open this bracket, you get tan square x minus tan square x cos square x, correct? Now you can write tan square x as a ratio of sine and cosine. So what do you get? You get tan square x minus sin square x over cos square x times cos square x. Now cos square x, cos square x cancel out and what you get is tan square x minus sine square x which is indeed right side, correct? So that is how you could quickly prove the identity, right? Well, there are always more than one ways to solve identities, right? So you could have even started with the right side and done the needful to get the required answer. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.